Hey YouTube land, Ty Counter Sir doing another action figure review and today I'm taking a look at the McFarlane CET Crab Suit or CET Ops Crab Suit from the Avatar movie. Now this is the one that came out for Avatar Way of the Water. Which I do think it actually has the logo for Way of the Water on it. It just has the Avatar logo, which is in the corner here. But you can see the image in the background shows the water the oh, what are it called again the Nav Navari the 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 basically the water tribes uh home base to say the least and then on the back of the box it shows the actual crab suit in various states there's the kind of you have the diving position you have the crab suit when it's fully kind of in crab mode and then you have you can use a glow black light glow effect for the control section which unfortunately i don't have um if i believe the other one had a black light glow as well so i'm just going to bring the box it does sport that it says 22 points of articulation but if i just bring in the box of the mp suit which i actually still happen to have um you can see the differences in the boxes so where the uh where the crab suit shoot the uh, crab suit shows the water area for pandora with the like area where the the movie takes place in way the water this original amp suit which is came out around the same time uh, showcases more the forests or the jungle area of pandora where the first movie was set so you kind of get that it shows kind of more jungle area stuff that was on that so it is interesting that the boxes are slightly different now here is the thing itself once you get it out of the packaging and have it in kind of crab mode there is a lot of moving little parts on it plus i have a figure in the actual thing the figure does not come with it but i just chucked them in because to demonstrate a figure that can fit in there so the figure I used is actually one the it's actually um Mattel Jurassic World Destructosaur set. It's the pilot from the um what you call it from the helicopter set with the pteranodon and it's actually he fits in quite nicely. But if you have some of the other like mercenary figure would probably fit in there just as well from the Jurassic World line. He's a little bit smaller and less bulky than the other one he does fit in quite nicely and it does click into place it is an interesting to note that the canopy on this has a dual opening so you have this big larger opening section so you can actually fit the figures in and out there is a smaller opening hatch for the actual way they they got into the things in the movie it's like an opening a uh, secure sealed hatch on the thing it just clicks in on the top and just to pop it out of its holster somehow Ugh. there we go and just clicks into place yeah interesting it seems to have actually broken so just be wary of that it is supposed to be an additional opening point but it does have actually broke on this thing it does have the fin, the fan thing on the back. It does spin quite freely, which is quite nice. It's overall kind of height in this kind of crab mode is fairly tall. So the highest point would probably be the top of the shell here, the top of this in this crab mode. And it stands about seven inches in this kind of seven and a half inches, depending on how you look at it. You can kind of fold it all down into different, uh, into like the uh, dive mode as it's called. So the legs just fold up underneath. You just have to manipulate them. They do fold in underneath it's underneath itself. And then the arms kind of fold back, and if I remember correctly, in the movie they're kind of fold all the way back and they kind of fold up into the shell of the thing 
it is doable with these but you can kind of get it into its kind of dive position so there is that there is multiple points of articulation the arms do kind of move and rotate there is a joint here at the elbow it, there is a swivel at the elbow there is a up and down for the hands there is that canopy there is the opening canopy which again seems to have broken on mine for some reason and then you have the legs have they all have sim the same articulation so you have this rotating joint up and down joint there is a single joint at the knee it does look like these are intended to slide out but they're not they're fixed in position but you can get the grab suit into a more squat position if you don't want it all the way kind of exposed just rotate the legs to how you want it to go you can have a more squat version of it you just have to get it into a more kind of supporting its own weight basically because otherwise it'll just flop down but it does fit it does stay quite nicely so you have some kind of range of movement or range of positioning for it depending on how you want to display it which is nice i will bring in the mcfarlane amp suit which is this one it is sad that the only human figure that mcfarlane have done has done in the line is a quidditch a miles quidditch figure um uh even the one that's sitting in this amp suit isn't the mcfarlane version the mcfarlane version is a little bit more detailed this is the old original i think it was playmates or it could be wrong i think it was actually mattel i think mattel did the original avatar line of figures so i have like the original uh quad quad miles quadage if i'm pronouncing his name wrong i'm probably butchering his name and i have the other soldier guy that also makes a comeback in the avatar way of the water movie so you have i have the two figures for them but like just for an example we'll swap out this mercenary guy for the actual miles figure i don't know if I remember which way this thing opens it's open that way it should open front way there we go let's throw this guy into this because these guys fit in here as well you can actually get away with using them they look kind of at home because they are kind of mercenary soldiers but you can get the miles quidditch quaridge figure this is the as i said the mattel one will fit into the cockpit of this so it is not too bad the the old mattel figures were actually small for their stature if i remember correctly so if i'll just bring even they're smaller compared to you can see the height there and like a little bit smaller than the um the current mattel jurassic world figures so they are they were always a bit on the scrawny side of things but overall the amp you know, the crab suit is actually pretty cool i picked this up because it was on it's on clearance at the moment in my local toy store so i picked it up for 18 euros when they first came out they were 20 or 39 so i wasn't i didn't think that was worth the price point for this thing and with the piece breaking straight out of the box pretty pretty much or i've only picked it up today before i recorded this so like this thing breaking that early on is for probably an indication of how how these things are so it is a pretty cool looking vehicle if you have it for display i know some people bought multiples of them to use with stuff like the joy toy uh kind of or the star division or is it the space force kind of stuff that kind of fits all that kind of theme um for stuff like space marines doesn't really fit anything for like the 40k line i would imagine if I just bring in like the space marine does stand fairly big with it you could probably get away with it being some sort of imperial suit maybe like even the amp suits look pretty dinky compared to a space marine so and like even if i was to bring in the space marine version of the mech suit it would dwarf this thing so there is that 
But all in all, it's not a bad figure. Um, with that glaring thing aside that it broke. But, you know, that could be just my own. Your miles may vary on which um, on other ones. I might pick up a second one and see how good that is. But overall, I kind of like the aesthetic and the design of this thing. It looks really cool and kind of obscure. And I did love them in the movie. It was the only one of the only reasons I went to watch the movie was to see the the kind of suits, the mech suit stuff that they incorporated from the trailer. So it was actually entertaining to watch that. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoy this quick, quick video review of the crab suit. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. And as always, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Cheers, guys.